This dot on the northwest coast is one of them, an emperor penguin colony. The world's most grueling winter is on its way. So how have the emperors prepared for it? By starting new families. They've courted and mated, and the eggs are laid, one per pair. The mothers won't brood it, though. The father will. And one of the most precarious parts of the whole process is the handover. Too many seconds on the ice, and the egg will freeze. So it's quickly onto the father's feet and snuggled under a fold of skin. The mothers need to go to sea. Producing such a big egg has taken a lot out of them. They have to eat now, and they'll be back in the spring. After a short hike, they reach a break in the ice, take a gulp of air, and enter the element where they're most at home. As for the fathers, they get a lingering sunset. It's the last sunshine they'll see for more than two months, and the end of the last iota of warmth. Now they have darkness, savage winds, nothing to eat, and nothing to do but take their turn at the edge of the huddle and shuffle along on their heels as they keep their eggs off the ice. There is no sun, but they may get some comfort from the moon and the stars and the dancing southern lights. There's an inner comfort too, the instinctive confidence that the sun will return, and with it, their mates. Further north, other penguins have other concerns. If there are no islands around, they try to board icebergs. These are chinstrap penguins. They and the other small penguins won't return to Antarctica until spring. Their time to breed. Icy footholds are irrelevant, of course, to birds that fly. Storm petrels and fairy prions can simply rest on the unremitting southern winds. A wandering albatross rides the gale. There are a few battered islands, including South Georgia. The second largest penguins, the kings, breed here. The chicks have already hatched, and they huddle together, waiting for their parents to bring them some food. They're kept warm by thick, downy coats, so unlike their eventual adult feathers, that the first explorers here thought they were a new species, the woolly penguin. Sometimes, a king penguin parent will turn up with food, but these chicks, and the albatross chicks, generally do without. This young albatross, high up on a cliff, has been alone and unfed for three months now, while its parents travel the southern seas. <laughs> 